Hey everyone, I'm back again. I just want to go over Kylie Rodney's celebration of life. Some of the things that pop out to me. You know how I said in my previous videos that her car said 8 year 127, which is 8 year soul. And that both Mag and Sammy were wearing crystals around their neck. And I said maybe witchcraft, just a thought. Well now, it's my opinion that it is witchcraft. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, you see how the altar was built to honor Kylie. And on the altar, it has feathers, oyster shells, pictures of her, flowers. Everyone comes with a meaning. They also had different color paper, a Buddhist. So these colors all mean something in the Wiccan world. And I'm going to tell you what each color means. And then we'll go back and I'll tell you what the feathers and the seashells mean. So red is energy, the fire element, love, power, life's essence, blood, courage, stamina, summer magic, protection, sun, and fire magic. Red vibrates with active energy, especially for happiness, social outlets, and travel. It also is the color of passion towards a person, the arts, a job, or learning. The chakra is root. Orange is kindness, reaping, reaping what you've sown. Friendship, the season of fall. Willfulness, awareness, sun and fire magic. Less hot than red, however. Speaks to us at times, passing and cycles. This color vibrates with successful energy, especially when trying to overcome bad habits, fear, or other obstacles. Additionally, it can be used to motivate safety, understanding, kindness, and reliability. The chakra is sacral. Yellow or gold is solar magic, leadership, productivity, blessing, health. Vibrant yellow is a fire color, while pale yellow corresponds to air and matters of creativity, charisma, or communication. Yellow represents those things for which we hope and wish. It's also the color of experience, intelligence, personal achievement, and conscious clarity. Gold's energy signature is one of wealth, leadership, glamour, illumination, and wisdom. The chakra is solar plexus. Green is healing, hope, growth. Dark green encourages fertility, while ivy green stresses the emotions, and sprout green accents vitality and steady progress. An earth color. When you have a tough choice to make, green is a very helpful color as it encourages movement and helps overcome indecisiveness. To bring about the best choice, this color also motivates organization, logic, enthusiasm, and diligence. The chakra is heart. Blue is truthfulness, peace, joy. Light blue is a patient color, while dark blue supports dream magic, a water color. Blue represents improved self image, balancing diverse factors like spirituality and mundane life, courtesy and consideration yours or that of another person, prosperity and sharing. The chakra is throat. Indigo is honesty, integrity, 
and spirituality. It also represents family, ancestors, and important customs that we keep to honor both. A third correspondence is that of divinity energy, especially of her predicting the future. Purple is wisdom, spirituality, academic learning. Violet represents our connection to the higher self and spirit, while lilac is more whimsical, the vibrant inner child, a watercolor. Purple inspires authority and leadership, especially in spiritual matters. In balance to that, however, this color supports healthy meekness, benevolence, and an ongoing relationship, communion with the sacred parent. Energy Center, Brow. Black is banishing, rest, tenacity, constancy, and earth color, the void, things that you should or should not do, try, or pursue. Recognizing your attributes and limitations honestly, cause and effect, and very personal transitions. White or silver is purity, the moon, and the goddess. The spirit color also sometimes associated with water, like the crest of a wave, or air, blue, white, represents the greatest good, or the good of all. It also symbolizes your past lives and spiritual connections, awareness, and wisdom. Okay, let's go through all the meanings of the things on this altar. The first thing is the white calcite. Clear white calcites resonates with all the chakras, especially the third eye. It's a cleansing and revitalizing stone and is helpful in making changes, removing blocks, and embarking on new beginnings. And then we have the seashell, the open oyster. Seashells have long been connected with divine feminine, particularly feminine beauty. When performing any spell work with the goddess Aphrodite, it is tradition to honor her by offering seashells. Sea scallops are linked with the goddess as they are heavily associated with beauty, fertility, and love, as well as pearls and oyster cells, which are said to represent the hidden beauty of womanhood. Then we have the red tail hawk feathers. It says the red tail hawks will soar beside the two legged whose own gift of psychic vision may be exceptionally acute. This may take the form of precognitive dreams during which these souls are quite literally able to see the future. The red tail hawk feather will have the ability to view the broad picture in much the same fashion that a hawk can gain a wide view of the surroundings while soaring on the unseen currents of wind as they ride the sky. The human counterpart will be a believer in the philosophy that all things happen for a reason, and it will be this awareness of the big picture that will assist both themselves and those whom they share their gift of keen insight with through many a difficult time. The sunflower is the next thing on the table. Sunflowers have a very long history as a magical plant, having been used by Native American tribes for thousands of years. The Aztecs used them as part of their religious ceremonies to worship the sun deities. The magical properties of sunflower include fertility, happiness, luck, and loyalty. All flowers on the tables. Symbolism includes peace, harmony, honor, respect royalty and spiritual awareness. The color purple is special in that it blends the warm hues of red with the cool hues of blue. Because purple strikes this balance with a beautiful result, it symbolizes peace and harmony. The leg captures the spirit of aloha, but aloha doesn't only mean hello, it also means goodbye. And it can mean a final goodbye to those who have departed. In Hawaiian funerals, Many of the flowers are lays that are worn to the service as well as used elsewhere to symbolize the respect the attendees have for the person who 
passed away. But to me, not much respect has been given to Kylie because this has been all covered up, in my opinion. And then we have this little symbolism that they did, which I found absolutely disgusting and dishonorable to Kylie. And this could represent the will of Dhamma. The will of Dhamma is one of the most important religious Buddhist symbols. The symbolizes the Buddha turning the wheel of truth or law. The wheel refers to the story that shortly after the Buddha achieved enlightenment, Brahma came down from heaven and requested the Buddha to teach by offering him a Dharmakra. The eight spokes of the wheel symbolize the noble enlightened path set out by the Buddha in his teachings. The wheel also represents the endless cycle of samsara, or rebirth, which can only be escaped by means of Buddhist teaching. And some Buddhists regard the wheel's three basic parts as symbols of the three trainings in Buddhist practice. The hub symbolizes moral discipline, which stabilizes the mind. The spokes, usually there are eight, represent wisdom, which is applied to defeat ignorance. The rim represents training and concentration, which holds everything else together. We have this statue that was placed on the table. This is the one that gets me. This is the Kali Ma. Kali Ma is a goddess. She's the divine mother, the dark mother, the terrible mother. She is the Hindu goddess of time, creation, preservation, and destruction. I'm wondering, Lindsay, if this was a sacrificial unaliving of Kylie Rodney, your daughter. Is this why there's no pictures of a party? Is this some type of cult? And people, you can attack me if you want to. But this isn't normal. Nothing about this case is normal. And it seems to me that her celebration of life even had ritualistic things embedded in it also. So you guys tell me what you think. Leave a comment. And again, I'll see you next time. Justice for Kylie.